Today we are going to talk about depth of field, which is the distance in front and behind of the object that you are photographing that is in focus. It is determined by the subject distance, the lens focal length, and the f-stop, which is the aperture opening. This particular lens I purchased about 25 years ago for my Nikon camera, and it's a completely manual lens. This ring here is for focus. It can focus from infinity all the way down to about two and a half feet. And it also has a zoom from 70 millimeters right there all the way down to 28 millimeters for somewhat of a wide angle. The aperture ring, which is right here, goes from 22 all the way down to 3.8. At an aperture of 3.8, we've got a very large opening, which allows more light in. The more light you let into the sensor or the film requires a faster shutter speed so you don't overexpose the film. As you increase the f-stop to 22, the aperture gets smaller, which allows the less light in, which means you would have to have a longer shutter speed or a longer shutter opening to expose the film or the sensor correctly. When you have an f-stop of 22, for this particular lens, it's very nice because you've got these lines on the side. Here's f22, and then on the other side is f22. These lines help me determine what's going to be in focus, depending on what we're, where we're at in the zoom. So at a 70 millimeter zoom, if I was photographing something between 4 and 5 feet away, everything in front, or closer than 4 feet would be out of focus, and everything further than 5 feet would be out of focus. As I zoom in, as you see, the amount that's in focus increases. At 28 millimeters, I can go from infinity all the way down to a little closer than two and a half feet. Everything would be in focus. Now if I change my f-stop from 22 to 3.8, which is a large opening, well, we'll stop at 5.6 because that's on my, my lens barrel. At 5.6, which is this line here and this line here, you'll see that the amount, of in, amount that's in focus is a lot smaller. At wide angle, it gets a little more, and as my, my subject is further away, see the numbers get closer and closer, 10 to 20 feet. But as I zoom in, 5.6, those two inner lines right there, on either side of the green line, they get closer and closer and closer. So if I'm photographing a subject that's 10 feet away, everything further than 10 feet and everything closer than probably 9 feet is going to be out of focus at an aperture of 5.6, which is a very large opening. Now if I want to get more in focus and I've got the amount of available light, I can increase this to f22, which will give me a smaller aperture opening, which means I need more light. It's a nice bright sunny day. And that would allow me to go from 10 feet to almost infinity, or if I wanted to select, get infinity in focus, I could go from about 14, 15 feet to infinity that's in focus. Now if my subject is at about 15 or 16 feet, they may look out of focus when I'm setting it up on the camera. When I take the photograph, they would be in focus. Thank you for watching this video. And please make sure you stop at www.dslrcamera.com. Thank you and have a great day.